Did you know that eating this with perilla leaves can eliminate dementia and dry up cancer cells? Perilla leaves are a representative food for dementia prevention as they protect our brain nerve cells and stabilize the nervous system. Moreover, when consumed with certain foods, they synergize to reduce insulin resistance and chronic inflammation, making them the ultimate anti-cancer food. Perilla leaves also greatly benefit eye health by moisturizing dry eyes. However, depending on how you consume perilla leaves, they can either be a tonic or, conversely, a poison. Particularly because perilla leaves are most commonly used as wrap vegetables, the accompanying food is very important. This video will first explain the three key benefits of perilla leaves and introduce the best perilla leaf dishes for not only eye health but also for fighting cancer cells and preventing dementia. Additionally, we'll discuss the three worst perilla leaf foods that could accelerate cancer and dementia. The first key benefit of perilla leaves is improved gut health. They are incredibly beneficial for the intestines because they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, specifically alpha-linolenic acid, beta-carotene, vitamins A and K, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and various minerals and vitamins, as well as antioxidants. Furthermore, being rich in dietary fiber, which serves as food for beneficial bacteria, they can abundantly supply the essential nutrients needed for gut health. A major cause of poor intestinal health is a lack of dietary fiber, which is a significant problem in our diets. Perilla leaves can solve this issue, making them an essential vegetable that we should frequently consume. Alpha-linolenic acid and beta-carotene are anti-inflammatory components that can reduce inflammation in our body thus reducing the inflammation that can occur in the intestines. Therefore, perilla leaves are a must-have food for intestinal health. The second benefit is the prevention of dementia. You may have heard that perilla leaves are excellent for preventing dementia, which is because they contain abundant GABA, rosmarinic acid, anthocyanins, and alpha-linolenic acid, which protect and stabilize brain cells. Especially, rosmarinic acid is known for its powerful anti-inflammatory properties. These antioxidants not only stabilize nerve cells but also reduce active oxygen and inflammation, offering a strong preventative effect against dementia. One cause of dementia is neural stress, meaning reducing excessive spark reactions and stress on our nerves is key to prevention. Perilla leaves can even reduce such neural stress. Frequent and excessive neural sparks can cause severe stress to nerve cells, leading to inflammation and accumulation of toxic substances in brain cells. Our body's natural healing ability can initially manage this, but if it repeats continuously, brain cells can die, leading to dementia. Therefore, Controlling neural sparks and stress is crucial for dementia prevention. Hence, a diet that stabilizes nerves and includes stress-reducing foods like perilla leaves is very important. The third benefit is the anti-cancer effect. Perilla leaves are rich in antioxidants like rosmarinic acid, beta-carotene, anthocyanins, phytol, and polyphenols, making them an antioxidant bomb vegetable. They excellently remove active oxygen and oxidative stress in our cells, thus blocking the pathway through which cancer cells can grow, making them the best antioxidant and anti-cancer food. People who frequently eat perilla leaves stay young and healthy for this reason. Besides, perilla leaves are also beneficial for eye health, preventing and improving metabolic syndrome, and good for blood vessels, heart, and bone health like osteoporosis, making them a powerful superfood that aids our health in many ways. To summarize, perilla leaves can calm and stabilize our mind and body, acting like a mother's healing touch. Though our hands may often be rough and cold, they warm when soothing our children's stomachs, just like how perilla leaves, despite their coarse appearance, warm and calm our body with love. 
They blend with various foods to protect our health, making them a truly invaluable food. Unfortunately, many have consumed this health-beneficial perilla leaves in incorrect ways, failing to fully enjoy their effects. Therefore, we need to find and research methods to consume perilla leaves as a tonic, maximizing their powerful effects while avoiding foods that might decrease their benefits and become toxic to our bodies. Now, let's explore how to consume perilla leaves with other foods as a tonic, starting with perilla leaf wrapped egg and white kimchi boss sam for breakfast, which is extremely beneficial for intestinal health by eliminating inflammation and enriching beneficial bacteria in the intestines. Especially recommended for those who find it difficult to consume the various yogurts, salads, and vegetables we've recommended for a busy morning. It's a simple preparation that also reduces insulin resistance and chronic inflammation, making it a very healthy breakfast. Egg lecithin strengthens the intestinal mucosa, and the abundant probiotics in kimchi supply beneficial bacteria, while the rich dietary fiber in perilla leaves feeds these beneficial bacteria, ensuring your intestines remain healthy. This meal can significantly lower our body's average blood sugar, reducing belly fat by lowering insulin resistance and chronic inflammation. The lecithin in eggs is a key component that acts as a protective layer for brain nerve cells and a material for neurotransmitters. Thus, frequently enjoying this breakfast can catch two birds with one stone, improving intestinal health and preventing dementia. Adding blueberries recommended in the blueberry section and dipping them in perilla oil sauce can turn egg and white kimchi boss sam into an anti-cancer meal. It's essential to use good quality cold-pressed perilla oil. Consuming these two foods together can expect a powerful anti-cancer effect, as the anthocyanins in blueberries and omega-3 fatty acids in perilla oil can dry up any inflammation in our body preventing cancer cells from lurking around. Such a breakfast is a healthy meal, whereas meals that cause blood sugar and neural spikes make our sleep and nerves sick. Now, let's aim to strengthen our intestinal health and actively prevent cancer and dementia with egg and white kimchi boss sam, along with blueberry and perilla oil sauce. Egg and white kimchi boss sam is a meal that makes harmful bacteria in the intestines flee. The second method of consuming perilla leaves as a tonic is having perilla leaf kimchi for lunch, combined with carrots, garlic, and onions, which is incredibly beneficial for preventing cancer and dementia. Preparing healthy side dishes for lunch can be challenging, so in this perilla leaf segment, we've prepared a healthy lunch side dish for you. Perilla leaf kimchi is a dish that makes cancer and dementia run away. How to make a quick kimchi? Here's a simple introduction. First, prepare 50 g of perilla leaves, half a large onion, half a root of green onion, one chongyang pepper, one teaspoon of minced garlic, and about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'll explain the rest of the ingredients as we go along. First, wash the perilla leaves thoroughly. I recommend soaking them in water for about 10 minutes and then rinsing them under running water. Organic perilla leaves are also a good choice. Slice the onion for easy eating, julienne the carrots and green onions. It's better to finely chop the chongyang pepper. Now that the vegetables are ready, excluding the perilla leaves, add all the prepared vegetables into a bowl for making the kimchi. Now, let's add the seasonings. Start with 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Many people add fish sauce or anchovy sauce for umami, but I've omitted it for a healthier option. Instead, add 1 tablespoon of natural fermented apple vinegar and 1 tablespoon of chili powder. The most important addition is coming up. To make a kimchi that can help fend off dementia, add omega-3 rich perilla oil. Make sure to use cold-pressed, organic perilla oil. Mix in the perilla leaves without cutting them, 
to keep them whole. Your perilla leaf kimchi is now complete. Despite not adding sugar or fish sauce, it's a misconception to think it won't taste good. This kimchi is delicious. The perilla oil strengthens cell membranes, while onion quercetin and carrot beta carotene reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. Garlic protects the membrane, and perilla leaves stabilize it. With these ingredients, our neural cells can only become stronger. Making side dishes like this can create an environment where cancer cells cannot grow. It's not hard, just change your cooking habits as I've described. I've omitted sesame oil, sugar, and fish sauce. No sesame seeds or artificial seasonings were used either. A healthy diet like this can actively prevent cancer and dementia. Another great way to consume perilla leaves as a medicinal food is in a dinner of raw squid perilla wraps. You can eat them out or make them at home using fresh squid. If you cook the squid, be sure to use the broth in your cooking as well. Perilla leaves eaten with squid are excellent for brain health and fighting dementia. The main cause of dementia I mentioned is brain atrophy, characterized by a diet high in carbohydrates and fats, meaning insufficient intake of essential nutrients for the brain. What our diet needs most for brain health is not carbohydrates but quality fats. Our diet already has enough carbohydrates, what's lacking are fats, especially quality fats, not the unhealthy trans fats from fried foods, but healthy omega-3s, saturated fats, and cholesterol. These are the fats our brain needs, not the unhealthy fats that damage our blood vessels, make us gain weight, and kill our brain cells. High carbohydrate and bad fat diets are what truly endanger our health, not the healthy fats essential for our brain. The brain, mostly made up of fats besides water, needs a significant amount of healthy fats. Thus, a diet rich in quality meats, fish, and seafood is necessary, emphasizing the importance of enjoying these foods. That's why I've recommended eating out or preparing meals at home as mentioned in my previous discussions on mackerel and various vegetables and pork. Seafood, like squid, provides a comprehensive intake of healthy fats and protein. Oysters and king crabs are also excellent choices. Eating these foods with perilla leaves can further strengthen and maintain the health of our brain cells because seafood is rich not only in omega-3 but also in vitamin B1 and taurine. I haven't elaborated on taurine before, but let me take this opportunity. Taurine, commonly known for fatigue recovery, is a sulfur-containing amino acid found most abundantly in the brain. It plays a critical role in neurotransmission and neural regulation, essential for the development and survival of nerve cells. A deficiency can lead to impaired cognitive functions and affect mood and emotional regulation. Therefore, taurine is indispensable for brain health, and its concentration in the body decreases with age, necessitating dietary supplementation. Additionally, taurine has excellent antioxidant properties, reducing cell inflammation and oxidative stress, thus protecting cells. It benefits the heart and blood vessels and positively influences the sirtuin genes that determine lifespan making taurine crucial for preventing dementia. Therefore, regularly consuming seafood rich in taurine, like squid, is essential. Consuming it at least twice a week, along with protein and fats from meat, eggs, and perilla oil, is recommended. For rapid health recovery and active prevention of cancer and dementia, it's best to eat without rice, accompanying the squid with perilla leaves, lettuce, and various wrap vegetables. Eating without rice helps reduce abdominal fat and inflammation because it lowers insulin resistance. If you have high insulin resistance, reduce rice intake as much as possible, if not, limit it to half a serving. 
High-quality seafood and perilla leaves eaten this way are the best method for maintaining a healthy, strong brain. Remember this and aim for a healthy life free from dementia concerns with healthy squid and perilla leaf dishes. Ultimately, consuming perilla leaves with quality protein and fats is the best synergistic method, as confirmed by our exploration. Conversely, certain foods can diminish the effectiveness of perilla leaves and are detrimental to health. Let's identify three types of food to avoid. First, avoid sweet and salty perilla leaf dishes and steamed dishes. Perilla leaves are not a main dish but a side dish, meaning sweet and salty preparations inevitably accompany rice. Eating sweetened perilla leaves with sugar and salt increases rice consumption and blood sugar levels. Fructose, which makes up half of sugar, can accumulate as fat in the liver when consumed in a high blood sugar state. Temporary liver fat accumulation isn't problematic if it's metabolized, but our daily eating habits are consistently similar. If we regularly consume salty and sweet perilla leaves, we'll likely eat more rice and add sugar to most side dishes. Such habits prevent the reduction of accumulated liver fat. Why is accumulated liver fat a serious threat? Beyond burdening the liver, it creates and exacerbates insulin resistance and chronic inflammation. Once established, insulin resistance and chronic inflammation don't just persist, they worsen, making maintenance difficult. Without changing habits, preventing diabetes becomes impossible, leading to potential cancer and dementia progression. That's why sugary foods are dangerous. Reflect on whether you're adding sugar to perilla leaf dishes or most side dishes. Reducing sugar is far more crucial than incorporating healthy foods into your diet. Only by reducing sugar can these foods be effective. Indulging in sugary, delicious foods won't actively prevent cancer and dementia. Remember this and avoid turning healthy vegetables like perilla leaves into sugary side dishes as this approach distances you from cancer and dementia. The foods to avoid first are samjang and chojang. When we eat perilla leaves, one of the most common accompaniments is such sauces. If you dip your food into these sauces, the beneficial effects that could be good for your health might be reduced, and it might even become meaningless. For instance, Dipping squid into chojang negates the point of eating squid for health benefits. These sauces primarily contain dunjang, soybean paste, and gojujang, red chili paste, but sugar is also a main ingredient. Essentially, these sauces are sugar sauces, which can rapidly contribute to fatty liver disease, and are among the foods that can worsen insulin resistance and chronic inflammation the fastest. Yet, we consume these sauces without hesitation, even with foods considered healthy, like unsalted perilla leaves and lettuce, under the guise of them being healthy. It's important to emphasize that no matter how healthy the food is, dipping it in a sugar sauce makes it pointless and can even degrade your health. If you've been eating healthily but not seeing improvements, it might be worth checking if these factors play a part. Sugar, which is half fructose, is a severe threat. Many are aware that alcohol acts as a toxin to the liver, leading to cirrhosis or even liver cancer in severe cases. Fructose acts almost identically as a liver toxin, making it arguably worse than alcohol and a primary culprit behind the deterioration of our health, including cancer and dementia. What do you think is the real cause of cancer and dementia? Diabetes, a disease that was almost unheard of 50 to 60 years ago, has now become exceedingly common. Currently, over 13% of people aged 30 and over are diagnosed with diabetes, and when including prediabetes, it's estimated that half of the population over 30 could be diabetic, signaling a diabetes epidemic. Yet, Many still mistakenly believe that excessive consumption of meat and fish is the main dietary issue. 
It's not. The problem lies in consuming these proteins with sugary sauces and side dishes, making sugar the real villain behind diabetes, cancer, and dementia. Therefore, it is advisable to completely avoid sauces containing sugar. This effort can prevent cancer and dementia. The third food to avoid is white rice. Often eaten with perilla leaves, white rice significantly raises blood sugar levels, causing inevitable blood sugar spikes, which means even when eaten with healthy foods like perilla leaves, it cannot be considered healthy. While eating vegetables can lower the height of blood sugar spikes and slow the rise, relying on this level of defense for detoxing is insufficient for actively preventing diseases like cancer and dementia. This rationalization can ultimately harm our health, leading to a diet that includes more unhealthy than healthy foods. If you find yourself compromising on your diet, leading to a predominance of unhealthy food choices, it might be worth reflecting on the reasons behind these choices. We should prioritize diets rich in overwhelmingly healthy foods. White rice is not one of these foods. While it may seem like there are no alternatives to white rice, proteins like meat, fish, eggs, and seafood can serve as staples. Our health has not declined because of these proteins but because we consume them with rice, noodles, and sugary or artificially flavored foods. The real culprits are diets high in carbohydrates, refined carbs, and processed foods. Remember this and strive to eat naturally healthy foods like perilla leaves, along with healthy proteins, to lead a healthier life free from cancer and dementia. Perilla leaves not only taste good on their own but also enhance the flavor of other foods, protect our cells from aging, and offer a comforting, motherly touch to our diet. By incorporating such wholesome foods into your diet meaningfully, you can fight off cancer cells and live a healthier, dementia-free life. If you seek more beneficial information on dementia prevention or are curious about the antioxidant effects, refer to our previous segments on squares and blueberries, as well as carrots and tomatoes, for guidance.